friends welcome to our channel so before start today's video I would like to thanks to the subscriber for supporting me by subscribing the channel at the same time I want to request the viewers those who not yet subscribe the channel so I want to request them please subscribe the channel so that way you will support me to make the new videos on the new topics so let's start the today's topic so in the today's video we are going to discuss about the HANA database so what HANA database actually each and every day we discussing about the HANA database only but in the today's video this video will be the you know those who want to learn the HANA database so let's start so the first question is what is a HANA database and how it is different from the traditional databases so let's start so we know that the massive amount of data is being created every year in the most of the company before 2010 many companies were dealing with the huge amount of data and we are not able to report on them efficiently and the reason was the huge amount of data volume similarly IDC in its 2013 top 10 prediction estimated that the digital universe will reach the 4 zettabyte very soon because of information explosion so now the question comes that what is the information explosion so information explosion means the rapid increase in the amount of data because of sales orders social media like YouTube Twitter Facebook similarly the CRM data ETC which lead to information overload so that is the information explosion information explosion as we see that became the you know pain area of the many companies because of because the data was increasing they were not able to do the reporting on the data because of the size of the data so one side so one side where the companies were dealing with the data issue the size of the data issue at the at the same time at the another side customer where you know wanted to access the information and data very fastly and they they were you know intended to get the data very fast uh, the access of the data so and if the companies failed to give the access to the data then you know business comes in the risk so now there was a question so the question was to find the process or analysis massive amount of data in the real time so that point the HANA comes in the picture so now this is the you know uh, we get the answer when the HANA comes in the picture so to resolve this difficulty of equation of the data volume speed then flexibility the SAP introduced the database which is called as the HANA database and they introduced this database in the late November in 2010 so now we we saw the you know the details like uh, why HANA database was introduced similarly we saw the history of the HANA database so actually this is not all about the HANA database but I'm, I, I tried my best to you know summarize in the short note where uh, you people will get the details about the HANA so now we will see that how the HANA database is the faster than the other traditional databases so now which are the which are the important features which makes HANA database different from the rest of the traditional databases so we will see now the features of HANA database 
so you know the main feature of the main main three features of the HANA database are first is it's a the first one is it's in memory database it's the in memory database and the second is column store data storage and the third is parallel processing Apart from this feature, there are many other uh, features are there. Those you know, helping HANA database to run smooth, faster, and you know, process the user request uh, in less time. So, in the uh, in in the future upcoming videos, definitely I will try to um, you know explain on these topics as well. So, I hope you will like this video and if you like please subscribe to my channel press the bell uh, to get the notification about you know new videos and if you like please share with your friends take care bye bye